Hello, hello, Steve Fletcher here and welcome to the Everything Guide to Learning to Play Guitar. Before we get started, can I ask you please to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube page, really help me grow my online business. And if you've got a moment, just check out all my social media, there's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, as well as my website. The links are all down there in the description. If you need a little friendly reminder of uh, everything that we've done so far in the Everything Guide to Learning to Play Guitar, then you can follow the link up there in the corner and it will take you to the playlist uh, for everything that we've been through. So we're starting a brand new section in this video. We're doing tabulature, combining the tabulature and the chords to get songs that sound that little bit more accurate to how they really, really are. All the sheets that accompany every one of these videos is available direct from me. If you head over to my website, the link is down there in the description. I think it's really important, the further down the road of the Everything Guide to Learning Guitar, the further down the road you go, the more important it is that you do get those sheets um, because you do need that visual accom accompaniment to go alongside what I'm saying. If you're a student of mine, either in school or uh, over Zoom, then you will get those sheets automatically. So if you're watching this video, then you should already have that sheet. If you're just watching me out there in internet land, then head over to my website where you can download those sheets. If you are still unfamiliar with what tabulature is, then you can find the dedicated learning how to read tabulature video right there in the corner. I definitely advise you to have a look at that one. So let's get to it. All right, so today we're taking a look at Oh, Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison. Now, the original version of this song was released way back in 1964. It was a number one hit um, on both the US and the UK charts. But following the success of the 1990 film Pretty Woman, in which the song was featured pretty heavily, it's obviously gathered a brand new audience then and a new lease of life. What we have in the riff, and again, something that we're going to see We've seen before, um, you know, in particular, we saw it in uh, Day Tripper by the Beatles. We saw it in Atomic by Blondie. We saw it in the Rolling Stones. Can't get no satisfaction. Is this idea of moving the riff, moving the fingers, I should say, forwards to give you your stronger fingers playing the riff. Most of the notes, most of the fretted notes on this riff are fret four and fret two. Um, so again, you could play fret four and fret two like so with finger two and finger four. But you're just gonna find it a little, feels a little bit weird. And generally speaking, what guitarists would do is they would, the lowest fretted note, they would use finger one for, which obviously is, is fret two, which just moves that hand position forward to give you finger one on fret two and then finger three on fret four. So just, it just gives it that little bit because you've got your stronger fingers on those fretted notes. It just helps to get the rhythm of the piece. I think just the fingers feel more right. Let's put it that way. Now, back in the day, when we were doing strumming patterns and stuff, we did the song Summertime Blues by Eddie Cochran. And, which is there. And, um, we had this funny bar where you only had two beats. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. And that was okay in summertime blues because you actually, just the way the chords fell and stuff, you weren't even playing anything. So you could just sort of let it go past you. Do you get that one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one, two, one, and two, and three, four, one, two. One and two and three. You know, so there is more to it. You know, um, it's sort of a, a constant thing of that one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So it does take a little bit of getting used to, um, but you should be all right. And again, that does appear in the verses. So we just, it's just an opportunity to just sort of dive in a little bit more to some structural stuff that is a little bit more you know, break from the norm, if you like. 
Now it is quite a lengthy song. There's a few sort of different verses, you know, there's the sort of a couple of different verses, a couple of different riffs. It's just giving you an opportunity to just branch out a little bit more, play something that has got, you know, a little bit more to it, you know, than just this bit, this bit, this bit, go for it. You know, it's just got a little bit more to think about, but nothing too terrifying. Um, take your time with it, follow that structure and you should be fine.
So thanks for watching. Please, please leave me some nice comments. Please check out all my social media, my uh, website down there in the description. Um, and we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.